What is going on, everybody? It is Trunks, and we're here once again at Crimson Moon Gaming. Hey, jump back in some more Final Fantasy 16. You know, it, it, you know, we got tonight. The title says it all. We are going to be doing lots and lots of side quests tonight because we're trying to get done with all the side quests before going into the final fight. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get let's get this going. Let's talk to some Quentin. Quentin. See what he's got going for us. I have a proposal for you. Oh, we have a Do proposal you? for him. Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. Propose. Let's see what we got. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride. And do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. Come I on. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. Oh, and so it's Quinn. Give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry oh, damn to hear it. that. Come on. So am I. And why might that be? What is uh -oh. asking? How is it any different to what you've done so far? There you go. You to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. Right? <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. Look it's at that. not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... So, get your ass out there and do what you need to do. Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? Right. You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves. And if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? Look at that, see? He speaks... A stirring argument. He I speaks the truth. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us. <laughs> you have no choice now. Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Porter's older. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. Look at that. The roads are far from safe these days. That's right. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. But you know, we're gonna take care of that. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. All right. So now we need to return to the hideaway, but we're not going back to the hideaway until all the other stuff is taken care of. But look at that—we already got most of this done. We got a couple over here too. So let's go here. So we got one there, one there. Anything anywhere else here? Make sure, nope. So everything is like right here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so she has Is something there. At least have mentioned where in Northridge he'd be testing this recruit. Stop Did jumping, Clive. So. Like? Let's see. Ooh. An we are buying that. Choice. Because yeah, we gotta have that you know, we gotta get all the new songs alright <coughs> I know we have like goblin coin or something like that we we can sell so we just get it out of my or get it out of the inventory cause yeah I thought we did anyway oh there we go Thank one you. whole goblin coin is that it actually Huh, okay. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got. Hey, there he is. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Well, met Sid. This What's is going the initiate. On? Ember, present yourself. At your service, master. Please, just Sid. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Look at that. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. 
The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. There you go. To become a scout, go. yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face him. Just like the man who saved my life. Who was the man? Who guess Gav? Gav? It was him who found me and freed me. No magic, ah. no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. <clears throat> That's cool. He taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. Okay. And I've been training ever since, so that one day, I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. Let's see what you got. You clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? Have I passed? No. You haven't even started yet. Now listen. What we got? Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. Okay, there we go. Bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. Let's you see, you get it. assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't Let's let see. you down. Let's see what you can do. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. So where do we gotta right, go? Ember. Impress me. Oh hell, we gotta get all the way up there. Alright, well he's gonna do that. I'm gonna go talk to the dame real quick, because I know that it's the dame who wants to talk to us in here. So that way, while he's off doing that, I go talk to her, get everything squared away here. I would speak with this Jew. Come on, let's get over to Captain the Danes. Snow. Your town needs you. Uh oh. <clears> hey, <throat> how you doing, Isabel? Do you have a moment, Clive? What is Anything it? for you? It's the Duke, unsurprisingly. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The so town means... was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my oh, dear boys no. have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier. If only for a few nights. Of course. Of course. Whatever you need. Of course, it's Thank you, Clive. It's you. What would I do without you? Philippe told me he Die. had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Here, uh -oh. my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. Oh, hell. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflan. Oh, oh, yeah. A small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Uh-oh. Well, let us speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please, proceed. As you know, my father uh -oh, is a most overwhelming and here. supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Uh -oh. Indeed, I owe you my thanks. For continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. So what are we going to do? And who would make him do this? I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Oh. Does that not seem a trifle... Drastic. Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. 
Oh wow. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the empire. That they should be forced to make every <laughs> sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not uh -oh. the people who must serve the empire, but the empire <clears throat> who must serve her people. That's right. He's always been like this. Uh-oh. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him by all possible means. Uh-oh. All right, guys. Give me one second. I have to go to the restroom real quick. To be right back. Just listen to the story. Be right, to and I'll be right back. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be one round. False hope, I assure you. But I see that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy, I bid you good day. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve, which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Hermes. I'm sorry, where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. Alright guys, I am back. So Sorry about that. Action together. Uh oh, she wants to see us in action. Hmm. Alright. So now we got Philippe out here. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Philippe since he's right here, and that was probably gonna. Your town needs you. I need you. Oh. The Duke would have me clapped in irons. Oh, poor guy. His husband or boyfriend or lover, whichever one you want to put it, is gonna go go away. Can't have that. All right. And what does the dame have to say about it? That's right. So oh. you're content to abandon? Uh oh. Please, I beseech you. If you're a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying <clears> to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends. Someone has to keep watch. That's right. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison. Fine. You're not the only able bodied man in Northreach. Yeah, Thank but you sure. so much for your help. Oh, wow. She is. She's a stubborn one. She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like she... father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier. Uh -oh. Hoping to convince the dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. Uh huh. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual here friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? Yep. Right as always. In fact, you're just the man. Okay, what we gotta do? We've we gotta go kill. Reports, you see, sightings of. Uh, you know what? Yep. They're back. Let's get them. Seems em. that way. All over, too. Let's go get them. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Sure. Where, Where should I look? You know, Grieger's Weep. One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. Got it. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clive. No problem. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. Got this. All right, so now that we got those out the way, ones out there. Okay, well, we're, since we're on this part already, let's just go ahead and get out of here and 
this is right up here, so right down by the lake. Let's see what we can find. Torgo. Alright, this is the area. Damn it. The reports hey. are coming. I need to stop them before they get to the town. Uh, hi, guys. This How we doing? Too bad you won't be making it any farther. Get him. You guys are in trouble. There we go. There's no reason to be using the big spells because oh. there we go. More? Yep, we can't let the spell casting things go. Can't not let spellcasters go. Man, you know we're gonna have to fight something big, right? You know what? Just for the fun of it. What we got? There we go. There we go. Get them all in there. Ow. Why oh, not? Let's have some fun with those, too. Oh, I thought there was going to be. I honestly thought we were going to get, like, you know. I thought we were gonna get the big, huge monsters. Like, call that a test, Ultima. Clive, it's me. What you got? Are you all right? I am. Yeah. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. So I there's something bigger. I found though. Is there something well, there's bigger? I suppose. Is there a bigger one? What were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. You head back to Northridge. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you uh, mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Ah, oh, hell. Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have her marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? Ah, uh, hell. This is exactly what the Dane was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, all right? Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. Huh. Not bloody murder, but blue murder. Uh-oh. Do you not see, Father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country? Hmm? Uh oh. Is she about to start? Sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without <coughs> fear. Without fear. Now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword. How will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Uh-oh. Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. Are you so A this? new empire. No, we don't need a new we empire. We can rebuild Sandrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could. Father, but we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, 
Let us not quarrel in the street. Uh oh. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore. Uh oh. You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. Yep. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. Uh-oh. The slut of Twinside who bedded a branded. Oh. Jealous, are you? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Griega. Oi. I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Uh-oh. No work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. Well, we better get there and fight. We will retreat to Care Norvant and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. No. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here. And protect our home. Uh oh, look at that. Protect those that we love. Together. For Northreach. You heard the dame. What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates. Archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on. The soldier's like, you know what? Screw this. We're going. She is but a common whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. Look at that. You guys both lost all your all your fight just from one woman. Now, where's the... the men had their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Now, let's, let's get to assured, it. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. That's Thank right. You, lady. I will. All right, let's do I'll this. I'll play my part, too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only Who's hope that? I can go some way to evening the odds. Who's that? Can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll take the north. I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. So I am right. the dumb of fire. Take care. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. I got uh I got my brother with me. Let us go. What are you two idiots doing? Wherefore would you forsake me? Father. Ah, oh, stop your crying. Alright, so we're heading out this way. Can we jump this? Ah, oh, damn it, we can't jump that. Ah, oh, we gotta run all the way around. So we're going out this way. It's called the bird. Fly Ambrosia. Let's go. Get to this fight. Uh oh. Let's get him. 
There are so many of them. <laughs> Not for long. Let's, let's get to work. Get him. Let's get to work. Come on. I think we set some some muscles on fire. There we go. Is it over? Oh no. no. It's only just begun. Oh hell. Gotta take out the spellcaster. Ow. You're lucky I'm trying to take out these guys first. What you got, huh? Oh. What you got? What you got, huh? Come on. There we go. Hey, I'm over here. Oh, that like that could have hurt. Got. Oh, that one hurt. That one hurt just a little bit. And I got this for you. What you got, huh? Oh. Look at that. And you're down. Let's put on the fire. Should we go ahead and use it? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh crap, he's back up. He's back up. He's back to his feet. Gotta shoot it. Gotta shoot it all. Uh oh. How about this? Get some of those in there too. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That hurt. You bastard. Ow. You rat bastard. Ah, too soon. Teleport through it. That's cute. Can we get him with this? Can we get him with this? Oh, that's kind of cool. We took a little bit of beating, but we got this. Looks to be the last of them. All right. I wonder how the others fared. Better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. I like how Clive's is like, come on. This, like, come on. It, it, you know, it was another walk in the park. Did we run him off? Clive, it's good to see you. And you. The road to Oriflam is clear. That's right. You and your men fair. Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Glad to hear it. And you know, all the guys are going to well, be happy to go to the Vale. It seems we've survived, for the time being at least. I thank you both for answering the call. Anytime. You were right. And I was wrong. About everything. I had thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of empire. But look at that. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be born hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together. 
Not by force. By words. Nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority. Look at that. But by simply being one of them. By knowing what they feel. Because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, your eminence. You just didn't want to see it. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory. We just want to protect While the place. I held matters closer to home. You have the right of it again, as did you, Sabine. His radiance said it himself. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. I forgot that. Look at that. And sorry. everybody learned a lesson today. I'm sorry too, Father. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. To all of you. Your eminence. Your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must right. go and see to the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. And today there are more than ever before. Look at that. The dame. Madam Isabel she... is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm, but women like her. You're right. If only I'd listen to her when I had the chance. Forgive me for saying so, my lady, but you still do. The dame said it herself. We can turn things around. We just That's have right. to work together. And that goes Team for up. you, too. You're one of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Let this be a new beginning. Not only for Sandbreck, but for us. Well, Look at that. Since there's nothing more to be done here, I, need I should to see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. Whenever I get some from her now too. Can we get you anything? All right, let's go talk to the no dame. To any For now. I saw several soldiers being carried to the bay. Uh oh. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Oh, I did. <laughs> Isabel. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'll be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Now what? Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Really? Tell me. If Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm. But I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. Yeah, Maybe I can hear it sometimes. I have all the time in the world. <sighs> Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the crystalline dominion. Really? I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. Ah. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard. 
The gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. Oh, wow. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving. Half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. And then what happened? Until we <coughs> found ourselves here. In oh, wow. Reach. Then the others kind of... It was the veil that took us in. That fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. So... Those that could be healed at least. Man. My love was already too far gone. Oh, that's got so... He did. Not long after we arrived. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. Aww. The generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. Man, that's nice and though. So I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. So now that she's I up here protecting everybody. To the veil. <clears throat> Good for her. Thank you, Isabel. For sharing this with me. <laughs> what was that? You're a lot like him, you know. Oh, that's, well, that's why. why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. I was gonna say that's why you I like me, sir. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together, but our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, I remind you of even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter, all united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Of course. Always. All right, so we got... So what we get? Oh, we got Orcalcum, finally. We finally got some Aura Calcium. It took us for damn ever. And we had to listen to the whole backstory. Just a little further. Alright, so we got that guy. Where's his boyfriend? I don't know. So now we gotta go. So now we gotta go. Awesome. Let's see. We gotta go talk to. Hey, you. Welcome, welcome. Let's get potions. An excellent choice. Ah, be quiet. Come back again. Don't want to hear from you. Don't like you. I could give you another elixir. All right. So let's go, Chocobo. I needed oh. that. Alright, hopefully we'll find one up there, because I don't want to go buy another one from her. She annoys me. Alright, let's see, where we gotta go? We gotta go through here and to the right. Not right, to the left. Raptor! Hey, yeah! Oh, I missed! Take that! I just had to kick it once. Run, Ambrosia. Like the wind. I think we pissed it off. Oh. Get off. Let's get him. Man, we can't let these things. Ow. You know what? Piss me off, will you? I just healed. 
I had just healed. You're gonna hit me when I come flying downward. Alright, cool. He is up here. Well, hopefully he's up here anyway. He's Maybe we'll get kills. Perhaps young Ember really is ready. Maybe we'll get another or cows. Oh no. Not. Oh hell. I guess he got caught. Damn it. The hell? Ember, draw your sword! Ah oh, hell. Uh, um, if you want him, you'll have to go through me. That's right. Uh oh, let's get him, let's get him. Get him. Oh, uh, I was not expecting that one. Oh, let's start him out. Nice try. Hey, I'm over here. Over here. What you got? What you got, huh? Woohoo! You missed. You missed again. And now you got this. Look at that. You can't even hit me. Man, you get is this kid tore up, ain't he? Oh, really? You wanna Here, let's do blast. I think mine's better, Joshua. Oh. Just one round of that. Awesome. I think mine beat yours, Joshua. Just a little bit. Alright, hopefully we'll get some ore calcium for this too. Ember, are you scared as hell? Yes. Gone. Of oh, course. He... Scouts really are a rare breed. <sighs> Back to Northreach it is. Man, then. took off right. <laughs> I'm out. I mean, I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. I'd be, I'd probably run too. Because, you know, there's this whole thing of, you know, big as a uh, dragon. Okay, let's see, Ooh, wrong button. Oh, we, we're at the, Let's go. Come on, Ambrosia. Yeah. Did we look around this whole thing? Or can we look around this whole thing? Okay, cool. We can't. There ain't nothing here. All right, cool. Let's go, Ambrosia. They, they still don't play the do 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 do. Look at her go. Yeah. Uh, right. Can't catch her. Can't catch me. Haha. <laughs> Let's get off here. You deserve the rest. Torpo. Come here, Torpo. After Lightning it. Wolf. All right. So yeah, he's ran away. Hey, expect you back so soon? Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed Man. him to East Watch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just Man, standing there. Off. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, the man ran like hell. To be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but apparently yep, he not. Do you say, uh, I'm nope. sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man for the job. Oh, hell. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Hey? 
How did you? Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. Yeah. Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, is there? And he did it all on his own. But Look Sid, at that. He... he did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. Huh. Yes, Sergeant. I mean, that was kind of cunning. Can't lie. This won't be an easy decision. That was kind of cunning. We got to give him that one. Dude was just like... That's better. All right, cool. So we're full heal. Let's go heal back up. All right, shut up. Do Don't want to talk to you. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Shut up, woman. I don't like you. You were annoying earlier. Alright, so we got all the stuff going on back there. So let's hit here. Oh, let's see. Can we get down here? Or should we go up here? Let's go down here. And then we can just make our way up. Let's go. Nah, we don't need ambrosia on this one. Right? Because if we keep going, yeah, we just... As long as we follow this path straight up, we'll make it. Now, we got a couple of missions over this way, so... Hold on, what was this? Was this here earlier? Okay, I thought this was the... So what's up here? Did we go up here before? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, I remember now. I'm sorry. I... I was lost for a minute. So that's right. We can go through the Aether Flood because we're just... We're dominance. And that's right. We're over here. What now? The hell is Agni um, did not plan on fighting this. It's not the plan at all, but okay. Look who's here to beat us. Uh oh. Let's get him. Trying to get this up. Almost. Almost. Come on. Come on. You almost had me. Okay, you had me that time. Dang it. All right. We, we threw that level three, huh? Got it, huh? Ow. Oh. Alright, so now we gotta go with Giga Laser. Giga Player. Go, 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 go. All the damage. All the damage. You know what? What you got? What you got? Hopefully, just do something to it. Alright, then do it now. Go. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do. Let's just do it. 
do some damage to it. Look at that. There we go. Oh, we're getting there. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. What's got? Oh, come on. There we go, we got this. Alright, let's get on with another Giga, uh, Giga player. Man, Agony is actually kind of tough. What we got? What we got? Come on. Oh. 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 There we go. And where are you going? Can't get away from us. And we're actually. Man, we almost have this guy. Now just pour on some extra fire. Hey, we actually did a hunt. Wild, not even planning on doing a hunt. Now, Stone Tongue. I've had warmer welcomes. Man. That was not something I was expecting. Because we came by here before, and that wasn't there. You know, I, I wasn't expecting just to, like, look up and, hey, there's a monster to fight. But, you know. But it doesn't kill you, you know, all that fun shit go. We did die. Let's see what's over here. Because this is the way we're going, so. Might this be Nickelback? How do we miss this? Or. Mickelberg. These people aren't turned. How are they not? And the village seems safe enough at least. But how? How did the flood not get to them? What is going on here? Who are they praying ah, to? Did you two heed the call? What call? Heed the call? No, I... I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here, let alone all of you. Mm, what call? Is that so? What call? What are you doing here? Is this where you live? It is my home. The others, they, they heeded the call. What call? You keep saying that. What do you mean? They came here to perform the rite. Just as King Barnabas instructed, this village is their altar. What where the hell? They shall cast their shoals upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. 
forgive themselves. No, don't do that. Oh, Stop. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Don't do that. No, no, no. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free no. us from the torment of this mortal realm. No, no. That means you're gonna all going to die. They want to be saved. Forgive me. But did another foreigner, like me, come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from stone? Yes. He's staying at my house. Toward the rear of the village. Oh, they're gonna turn a cash in. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. <sighs> at least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. And I have a feeling we're gonna they're all gonna turn to Kashik and we're gonna have to fight them all. That's that's my guess. I just had this feeling they're all gonna turn to Kashik. And we're gonna have to just like lay waste to everybody. And that's going to suck. Because these poor bastards. Yeah, let's go back here first. Let's see what's back over here. Make sure there ain't nothing we're missing. Because I have a feeling they, they're not going to... They're not going to fare too well. Because they're going to turn a cash it. Then we're gonna have to just murder them all. I mean, I really don't think that's a good idea. Cause as soon as we walk in here, we know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that this dude's tied up in here. And let's see, let's see, what's on the bookshelf? The Chronicles of Mirkavar. Being a collection of tales as... Yeah, I'm not reading that. Oh, you're awake. You're not, you're not dead. What's going on, dude? Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear... Are you? I'm not Undying, but... Lord Rosfield. If I am not mistaken. That's, That's right. right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Yep. I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. Much less you, my lord Marquis. He said okay. that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them... The more my own faith began to falter. Oh no. You have seen them at their prayers. Have you not? Oh no. Come on, don't don't you turn too. They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. And they're Praying crazy. Night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their savior's light. But their savior doesn't Not that want they them. They might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. They're I do crazy, not though. To devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this. It is different. It is more. It's insane. So I would see it through to the end. See this is insanity. Safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what that dream is, don't you? But it's I insanity. Not? They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashik. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, 
That is the very essence of salvation. But that's not salvation. Me, that's my lord. But I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great. Ah, uh, hell! Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. Ah, uh, find out what. Stay here. And violence. Oh, it's a flood. Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. Uh oh. Echoes as well. Let's get him. Ready, brother? Yep, let's do this. Burn them all. Burn them all. Yeah. That's right, Torval. I like just the kick. I don't know why, like him kicking the hell out of those things and just sending them flying was just always so fun to me. What the hell? Oh, what's coming up now? What is it? Oh. We meet again. Really? I've killed your kind before. Yep. Over here. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Man. Oh. Oh. that one all right that sounds an e free powers let's get them there we go finally get somewhere Starting to get somewhere with some. Oh. Alright, so we need some Bahamut. And this isn't like a. Uh, this isn't one of the. the what's called it's either. This is just a boss. We already got we already got him halfway. Woo. Oh. Woo. Oh. Uh oh. Come on. Woohoo. Man. I still can't believe we're dodging those now. Uh -oh. Let's see what you got. Let's see what we got some. Ah! What you got? What you got? Huh? Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Woo. 
What you got? What you got, huh? I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. There we go. You done messed up now. Turn on the flames. Just a little bit. Yeah, we got a hole. All right, can we do it? Can we do it with another one? This will kill it. Man. That was actually fallen iron. That's the new. Gotcha. More? Damn it. Let's get him. Oh. Hey, you didn't give our. That was it. You know, once one hit. Don't you die? Come on, speak to me. I had to save them, that they might have a chance to find true salvation by devoting themselves to the service of their lord. And they're all turning to Kashyyyk, though. Just as I did when the Undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause <laughs> to believe in. But now they're turning to Kashyyyk, Duty but killed them all anyway. To serve was everything to me, and I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become a Kashik in but order what the to hell? achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My oh, findings. Hell. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Master Cyril, of course. Gotcha. Your duty will be done. But now I gotta kill all these people. Look, my lord. They yeah. are saved. No, they're not. They're now they're bloodthirsty monsters. Okay, we gotta cut them down. We can't just let them walk out. Why you let him go? Honestly, should let him die and then go out there and just murder them all. Because they're monsters now. They are. That is not safe. So I had to go back there now? Man. They are saved. Found that. I should get this report to Cyril. Let me go out here real quick so I can see something. What's my, uh... I gotta go out here real quick just so I can see what my health points is like. I needed that. Alright, cool. Now it's getting here. And, like, you know, buy some stuff and get back high enough power and all that fun stuff all right so right here are you buying or selling I'm se I'm buying because I am of course that iron giant my ass. anything else of course all right then we have something to sell I thought there was something that you know I don't see anything. Oh, there it goes. 
Got anything else for me? Yep. Ah, not bad. We're not selling that. I'd be mad as hell. Finally getting a piece of Ori Castle and then just selling it. Come again. I'd be pissed off. I think at that point I'd be like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to beat the game. My Lord Marquis. Welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. And he's dead, though. Thank you, my lord. He was an idiot, and he died. He remained in Ash. He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm sorry that I couldn't save him. If you um. could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood yeah. came, and their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live, even knowing that that life was death by another yeah. name. Then he yeah, it is. Defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose I mean, how one is dies it? is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. Eh, I don't know. Um, he wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. But I don't know. That's... To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. Yeah, it but it's not how misguided deal. others might judge one's decision to be. But only that you the decision is one's own. You would still rather die we live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them, we protect them. And yes, we die for them. Man, for better I don't know. or worse. That is our creed. Our assassin's creed. I'm sorry, I had to make that joke. He didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe that he believed it was. And we of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. I don't know, I couldn't believe that was, was right. His will. The ultimate expression of it. Nah, like see, I couldn't do it. Name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall hmm. fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. The Book of Martyrs? My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. Man. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. I don't know. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. That, that, that just seems too... Uh... That's too culty. But, you know. Teach his own. Hey, look. We got another piece of Eric Castle. Awesome. So, we're not walking away with this just empty-handed or any of these so far. Because, you, you know, we all we all know we needed Eric Castle. And they opened up my mind. We got a trophy. Eh, we'll look at it later. So you gotta go back to the world. We still got stuff in over here to do. Oh, it's there. That place. Yeah. Whoa. We got three here? Okay. Let's get to it. We got three things to do here.
First was first. The guy up here. Doris is waiting for me near Balmung Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong one. Yep. It's always fun. More Akashic. Let me get over here to this thing. Right? Oh, that Reaper is... Oh, and the bombs are back. Oh. What you got? What you got, bomb? Yeah. Nope. Nope. I ain't gonna let you. Oh, 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 oh. You done. Man, I hate bombs. Even in all Final Fantasies, I hate bombs. Because they explode. This one. Nope, nope, nope. We are not going over there to fight it. I'm just glad we took no damage. That's what I'm happy about. So let's get up here and talk to her. Oh, that's right, because we came here last time. And we couldn't do anything there here. No gods, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors oh, really? are crawling with Akashic. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, then let's get I wonder if he already be. Don't give him hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. You too. Let's do this. Just help out on the floods inside the walls. Bad enough to turn a bearer. I hope not. But risking a lot just being here. You're right. I'm gonna keep my eyes open for signs of life. Can we get in now? Oh, we can actually get in now. Awesome. Alright, let's do this. Let us get in and see what we can find. Um, did we use the key? Man. All right, so let's go this way. Oh, there's some Akasha. Hi. You done messed up. You, you guys just don't understand. What's this? Queen Inspector. Right at destination, the Kingdom of Alu hereby des designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bearers, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train a Kuza beast for deployment in the field. The affirmation, therefore, bleh. Aforementioned purpose is a matter of strictest secrecy, and any mention thereof is to be punishable by death. Captive bears have been provided solely for the per, uh, pursuit of the aforementioned purpose. Express permission is required for use of bears in any other capacity. So this what place the hell? is no ordinary prison. 
And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. All right. So it's here too. So what is this creature? Gotta know now. I gotta know. I gotta know what this monster is. Well, I gotta go. I wanna search everything before we go. Okay. Alright, catch it. Go. What we got? What we got? Yeah. There you go. Torgo. Look at Torgo. Look at my dog. He's over. Oh, oh, oh. What we got here? More stuff? The Kusa has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it was hoped to successfully deployment on the battlefield might the battlefield might by a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. Okay, so then loss of Waluda lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take more. better care of their branded than that. Man, so pretty much they just like got people like, hey, you know what? It's all good. What do you got here? Recent supply stores left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bears assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. The beast was uh, further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way, suggesting that live bears may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bears no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. Oh my god, so they, they are feeding these feed things. The bears to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. Man, we've got the, like... Can we go to the down here? Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. Man, so she that's horrible. Is getting on. That is straight up horrible. Upstairs we go. Oh, more cash of both ways. Yeah, let's go down this way real quick. Let's go and set everybody on fire. There we go. Oh, there's a box. Oh, that's all those up here was a box, really. Good boy, Torgo. Torgo is a good dog. Best dog. Uh, we can't go through here. So we gotta go this way. Hi, guys. Set you all on fire. I ain't got time. Burn you all. Burn, everybody! And then just... Yep, sorry, spellcaster. That dude did not stand a chance. I didn't want him to stand a chance either. I was not not gonna have time sitting there. Okay, we know you're in there. No luck downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Uh oh. Far more sinister was happening here. Yeah. No. I've been reading some of these documents and it can't be true, can it? 
Oh, yeah, can. Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this. This is so much worse. That was horrible. Bearers this is horrible. A wild beast armed with nothing but their wits. And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever Man. that means. I'm afraid. They're not disposed of. They were it means fed. They were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say uh, that. We good. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. I want it. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. All right, so we're going to have to go fight. You know we're going to have to fight this big monster thing because it, it's, it's out there. We know it is. I don't know if it's on the list of things to, to throw down with, but we're going to throw down with it. Because we got to. Man, we've been taking out everything else in here. We can't let that thing stay alive. I want to see it. Besides, I kind of want to see what it is. Oh. Oh, we, we we know we gotta go through there. Ooh, Amber. That's that's some money. Uh oh. Is there a kid? Survivor. It just sounds close. Hold on, hold on, before we go get you. That was not worth the rundown, but you know, it's okay. Hey. Someone actually survived this. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. They're cashier. Was eaten by the oh, that's gotta be horrible. Of course they were. The poor kid. Think the founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Mm, you poor thing. Guess. You must have been terrified. Did, did Theatrix send you? What? <laughs> he fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. The oh, monster yeah. sent you. You promised to free the others too. But where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? Wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Ah. Whoa. Was that? Monster's back. Chadwick, help. We have to get out of here. Doris. Keep the girl safe. Yep, I'm right. go. You put that bearer eating bastard in the ground. Yep. Let's see. Oh, lovely. You're safe now. Alright, I gotta pet Torgo before we go out there. Good boy. Alright, cuz yeah, look at that thing. They're waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. Look at that thing. Things just walking back and forth. Alright. It like put this hole in it right here. Man, that thing's big. We're saving real quick before we go fight that. Because, yeah. 
I don't want to have to. Don't, 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 yeah. That thing is huge. Let's see. Do we got any abilities real quick? The hell's the onion sword? Okay, I mean, we got an onion sword. What the hell's an onion sword? What's it gonna do? We got that maxed out. I guess we could just start buying stuff at random. Yep, we're just gonna start with Shiva. Nah, we're gonna start with Bahamut stuff because I want Bahamut stuff better. Because just because. Uh, on a thousand before we master it. All right. Let's go do this, guys. Man, that big ass behemoth. Oh, it is a, it is a hunt on top of everything else. So it's a story-driven hunt, huh? What you got? Ooh, let's get you. That's right. Oh. Ow. What you got? What you got, huh? Come on, come on, come on, right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Ah, uh, I was hoping to dodge that one. Uh oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Let's get it. Woo Over here. Oh, I thought I got away with that one. Whoa. Whoa. Bad beastie. Whoa. much as we can. Yep, we're just going to let's get it with this too. Might as well. Nice. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be tougher, but uh, I'm not gonna argue. Behemoth shackle, awesome. Hey, oh. we killed it. Look at that. Finally, so that hurt us a little bit. Hurt? Just a little, nothing too bad. I'm fine. I think. So let's get the girl out of there. Oh, that's his book, isn't it? Oh, no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. Oh, no. He was here. Do you think that creature? Probably. I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We... We kill a behemoth and uh, mutated the behemoth on top Don't of that. Don't want sacrifice to have been in vain. No, of course not. Let's get out of here. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Man. 
They were not tell us pour us back to the hideaway. Dang it. I was trying to just knock everything out when we got here. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I bet. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. But we did. Good I'm job. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. Yeah, hey, y'all wouldn't be able to fight that. The bitter end to save her. To save Hyde Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. That's, I wish I that's cool. Him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met oh. my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. And y'all... We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time didn't came. Didn't do either. But Too well. It was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we Man, escaped. Just ran. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. <clears throat> nope, even he decided to run. The he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. That's right. Lady Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. Yep. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick and for all of us. Thank That's you, Doris. Good. We'll be counting on you. Oh. Well, since we're here, let's go collect some. Let's go collect some, uh, what's going on now? Oh, okay, we're here. Uh, we should have enough for something here at the, from Desiree. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Really? We're one, we're like five off. All done? I don't want to hear from you. Inside's hundreds of leagues away. You should have seen him. The thing didn't nope. the chance. There's something about it. No, no, we're not talking to no one yet. Not talking to no one yet. We got stuff to do. Scare. What's up, woman? I need to heal up. Or I need to it's better get new stuff. Here. You'll not find a better price than that. I still can't buy this yet. Why can't I buy this yet? Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. All right. Let's see what we got. We got some new stuff to listen to. Let's see what we got. Um, uh, thousand tables. Okay, not bad, not bad. Before the storm. I like thousand tables. We're gonna go with thousand tables because before the storm is cool, but you know, I ain't trying to get us all battle ready yet. All right, so we do got those two done, those three done, but we're not done yet. So before we come back here and finish those up, we still got one more to do here. We got two more to do here. So we're gonna start here. We're not fighting anything. We're going straight to I say that and then we see that. 
come on. That's a Run behemoth. Why is there a behemoth that's out there in the blue? It's a gold behemoth too, isn't it? And of course, it's coming straight towards us. Keep out of his field of vision. I'll come back and fight you in a minute because I kind of do want to fight you. Oh, we've been in this town. We came to this town. The entire village looks abandoned. Now, which house would I book where I'm living? The tall one right there. Alright, so. We gotta get that back up when we get a chance. Alright, let's see, let's look around. Royal Intelligence Training Report. This is a Royal Army logbook. Oh, Could you take this? Um, not gonna read all that. <laughs> His interests were certainly varied. The folklorist Fabulari. The Mughal. Okay, not reading all that either. Looking for one certain book. Chapter 16, Fall of the Bears. Alright. Cool. This is it. We got it. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Let me guess, somebody's going to be waiting for us out here. For that book. Yeah, it ain't going to be that easy. Leaving so soon, stranger. Uh, of course. We've been watching you. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. I know who you are. And you are not taking you me alone. You not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. How about now? Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. Well, By I'm not giving it. means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. No, I'll have to politely refuse. There you I go. Let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. And you're going to lose Very this well. fight. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. Let's go. Are you fight? Oh, where are you going? Let's see, shall we? Oh, really? here though oh we missed again what you got oh oh he got me on that one and there we go and then that too and then. ow and then just for good measure Man, pouring on the damage. Yeah. 
Ow. Man, you suck. Torgo did a backflip on you. Okay, so we got one other place to go. Clutch mine. I've never heard of that. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, we're just getting all kinds of cool stuff. Anybody else want some? Impressive. Do you still want some? But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? There you go. It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. And it no tells certain the terms. shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know, I read it. I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. Oh, you know what? So I will let me gut you. For you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. So why do you want this book? It is a question of numbers and of belief. Well, then I'm taking the book in the way. If people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? Yep. You're trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. How about that no? That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Now, if I get you down. Then. Wait. Damn it. Should have got him when you had the chance, Clive. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. All right, so we got one more to do. Right across, like straight across. Get back on Chocobo. Let's run straight across here. I'll come back for you, you big bastard. By the end of tonight's episode, we are going to fight that big old thing. That's my plan, anyway. Nope, you gotta catch me first. Woo! Almost got me. I told they had to catch me, they almost caught me. Back off, birds. Oh, they're on their heels. They're on their heels. I'm way off. Way far off the off the mark. <laughs> Running for my life. Let's see, is this the right way? Oh, we had to run up this hill, huh? We really did have to go up this way. Okay. The stables go. This must be the orphanage. The orphanage we already came here. here. We've already come here too. Hey, where we gotta look? And we've already came here. And we've already beat on monsters here. And got a potion. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Disposed of. Today's exercise will consist of the press yard, 20 sandbags for each, for such duration as instructors shall dictate the furnace. What the hell? Conditioning. What? What this the This is hell? nothing short of torture. Herman wasn't exaggerating. 
It's a wonder he survived this place. I they, need to find that registry. They torture kids. Oh, I guess it'd be right here. So, is that it? This reads nope. like a suicide note. Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. Oh, we gotta go up there. So we gotta go to the yeah, we gotta go to the cemetery. I'm not reading it, but if you guys want to pause it and read it, go right ahead. But I'm trying to get this done. Then we can go fight that behemoth. We got to before the forked white tree. This must be the place. Uh-oh, what did we find? Could he really be buried here? Oh, that has sucked. Something hidden among the roots. Let's see. They were training these kids to be soldiers. That's got to suck even more, because these little kids, they're, they're, they're kids. This must be the registry. Hands, ten year old, nine, twelve, for attempting to fight. Oh, flight. Succumb to conditioning. Good God. So many names. That's horrible. This place was a slaughterhouse. And where is the architect of all this misery? Oh. Oh. It was only a matter of time, I suppose. Yep. This place is cursed. Yep. Let's set plane to everybody. All the damage. Oh, what you got? No, nope, none of that. this happen oh oh you know what? I can sit back here yep. you are not getting away with this one yep. Yep. Get that. we still got another thing to go beat we gotta go get you All right, cool. So we got that. Clutch mine some more. All right. I'm done here. Let's get the registry back to Herman. Okay, so we got the registry now. We got all that. I think we've done everything we need to do. So now, you know what we got to go do, right? 
before we turn everything in, because we're going to go back and turn everything in before we end the stream. But, we got a certain uh, McMonster friend out there we got to go, go whoop up on. Because, yeah, I want to go whoop up on that behemoth. It's out there, it's just big and yellow. And behemoth is supposed to be purple. It's the front to behemoth kind. Must be put down. And I'm going to be the one to do it. I like behemoths too. Behemoths are like one of my... Another one of my favorite cre creatures from Final Fantasy. They made a big yellow one. So we gotta go. Ah, uh, go away. Fall. No, 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 no. Don't want you. Don't want to fight you. I wanna go fight that. No. No, 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 no. No. Whoa. Alright. So, first things first. You know, we start this fight off like always. Oh, it's a hunt. Behemoth King? Oh, uh, uh, your highness. Guess what? Still going down. Nope. Oh. What you got? What you got, huh? Oh. Nope, nope. All right, no, screw it. I'm just gonna hit you with that one. Let's get, let's get, let's get to work. I'm, I'm whooping you up. I ain't right. None of this holding back anything. Let's do it. Icon. What the hell? What did you do to me? Oh my god. What was that? Oh. Oh. Okay, it has a move that can... Oh. 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 Okay. Let's get him. Oh, okay, so that didn't do much of nothing to him. Alright, cool. We gotta hit him with everything, cause this thing is tough. I mean, they don't call it king for a reason, right? Man. All right, before we keep going, I gotta change some stuff up real quick. Then, cause, since I'm out of potions, yeah, we're gonna put the, uh, the elixir in here. Oh, okay. Uh oh. 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 Whoa. 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 Well, that's not cool. Man. 
man, you big. Big bastard. Oh. Whoa. Let's go. Man. Man, that tail hurts. Everything. And this thing is still. I will come back for you. Because I have nothing left to give in this fight. You know what? It's cool to have a fight of monster that I can't just whoop up on so fast. But now I know where he's at. I'm coming back. I will be back. All right, so let's go get let's go get done with all this because good God, that was a fight. Oh man! All right, let's start with Uncle Byron. Uncle, I bring good news. The field marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! Of course he has. I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Porter's Older as we speak. They will await your return there. Awesome. As will one other. One other? Who, exactly? Quentin. Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. <laughs> but yes. Another outlaw, then. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos Don't in. Don't know about places. an outlaw, but you know. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle. Assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. 
The seven high houses will be seeing to that. Let's, let's do this. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. <clears throat> How of course generous? It did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. How generous Rumor. persuasion? Why you, my boy? Rumor what has I do? It you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward Rockford from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. I don't well, know about a whole the old bit. battle axe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. Oh, nice. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Now, I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Of course, Uncle. What, now we gotta go there too? I don't wanna hear the old cronies talk. And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with a cash egg? Oh, we'll find hell. another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That's that right. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. Oh, My hell. soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen. Well, why do we have to sit here and listen to this? An alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. See, I like Quinn. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! Sure. I'm, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company were you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! Criminal? Hey. How, how dare you? Uh -oh. You are not fit to breathe the same air as this fine, upstanding young gentleman. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw. <laughs> Once more onto the breach. And they're still arguing. Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation, nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that hey, uh... our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. That's if right. we show them the path, show them that we walk it ourselves, then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands but the well-being of her people lies in ours and we must not squander the chance that clive has given us uncle byron i now with that settled That's... let's move on to the signing of the accord for what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony man come on <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford, my quill. Ah, oh, hell. Those guys are going to argue forever. At least it's over now. Well, my boy, the stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities. That 
you might have the opportunity to shine. The well, let's do this. Needs it's Sir Crandall. And there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I uh, want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Thank you, Uncle. All right. <clears throat> so we got one down. And all right, cool. Displayed in Clive's room. Everything is always displayed in Clive's room. And what are we doing here? Think that thing? What thing? Oh, that thing. All right, let's keep going. Get all these done. You should have seen him. The thing all right. Welcome back, Sid. That's what do you think? Welcome back, Sid. Yes. Welcome back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I heard. Oh, it was hilarious. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No. They most certainly did not. Yeah, I like the flames and the and the. Yes. Yeah. Amber why not? lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey, but he didn't lose heart. He pressed on, and he achieved his aim. And is that not what we ask of our scouts? Indeed, it is. Thank you for your honest appraisal, Sid. I mean, the fact I think it was however, cool. That Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn. It's true, and this time he was found wanting. I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. Yeah, he did. A bit of hard work. Any hand can be made to hold a blade, and any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conquer and a half. Hmm. Wouldn't do to waste him now, would it? That's right. Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. I mean, he did whatever he has this time. nights in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. Go, Ember, go. Delft as a brush, that one. But his heart's in the right place. Just like someone else we know. And if you ask mm. me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. That time the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Good night. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will ya? I won't have him thinking he's been half done by. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be asking for a day off. Uh. Yeah. Charles would be a fine thing. Back to work. Then let's get back to work, everybody. All right. Like said, this did not play out as I expected. <laughs> Things really do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. All right, cool. We got another one done. Man. Okay, we're about to level, right? Awesome. Pile drive. All right, so we got one up here, then one over there, and then the two up there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get mid. Ooh, Desiree has some for us. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. All right. Genji gloves. All yours. All right. Best cool. of luck out there, Sid. So what's the Genji gloves? Is it? 
Okay, we got a new sword. The onion sword. Man, it just doesn't... No. I'll probably look at it later. What's Genji Blows do? Ah. Damage or... You know what? I really like the Berserk Reed. But... It hasn't been helping out as much as I thought it would. <clears throat> so let's see if the Genji Gloves will, like, push me over that edge in that fight. We still got a couple more things to do. We gotta go get mid stuff. Uh, we'll get mids here in a minute. I wanna go up top and go ahead and knock out the one up here. Mid it all. Alright, so here we go. I hear that you traveled to Ash. Sid, did you yep. by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? I did. Here we go. Yes. There we go. If I may, the bearer registry. We're going to have a long winded story with this, too. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse Come than on. he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survive. Well, I would all like their to names hope. are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My and... light in those dark times. They'll still have to suck. Remember their faces, like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning, never to return. No explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. Yeah, they would. Why did I make it out alive when so many others died in that awful place? It's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. Right. One of their memory. See that their names live on. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Look at him. Oh, look, you. Clive. No one to say. Sid, I'm going to write a book. Uh oh. An account of the horrors of Badbach and the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valistia will know of our suffering. Uh -oh. In the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither will I. As long as you don't let it happen These again. These records would have been buried for all eternity. Were it not for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yay, we got one more done. I'm getting closer to getting these done. Breath of Ice, even though I don't use Shiva. Alright, so we got that one done. Let's go get mid done. And then we got uh, Vivian's to give. Right? They might be able to get a new sword too, because we got the Orichalcum. Or Orichalcum. Alright. Mid. Tell me this is all you need. Please. Make it sound like I asked you to save the world or something. Tell me, this is all you need. It's most of what I need. After you left, I went over oh, the figures no. again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. Uh, and and a cogwheel, just a tiny one. So that's the problem. Gears that small are a bastard to make, and I may have lost the one Blackthorn spent a fortnight toiling over. Wait. Ah, oh, hell. The children. When they took apart your scales, there was a tiny brass gear. Now that I think about it, I... They didn't use it when we put the scales back together. The young'uns? 
But why would the... You know what? I don't want to know. I'll Let's keep working on it. the model. You go and find that cog. God damn it. Damn it, Mid. Has Mididol mentioned a new project yet? Alright. You little bastard. Give me the key. Give me the cog. Sid. Is Mid still hiding from us? She wasn't hiding. She's fine. She's just right, busy so working the on the wheel. next project. A new invention? What is it? What is it? Is it an airship? I bet it's an airship! Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. She needs something special, something only you three can provide. Uh oh. A brass gear. A tiny one. One that might fit on, say, a set of scales. Oh, the one you forgot! We remember. Uh -oh. We saved it, just in case. It's in the bag of bits. So go get that to her. Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything we can find. All the pieces that are left over, we keep under our beds, just in case. That's. There shouldn't be tonight. any leftover pieces, Look. though. I found it. All right, go get the mid. Is that all? Just the gear? We have more parts if Mid needs them. That's all for no, now. Just all we need. But I'll let Mid know about your hoard, just in case. Thanks, Sid. All right. Now I gotta go back to Mid. Good God, Mid. Even when it's even when it's right here, it's still a pain for you. Well, did they have it? Yep. There you go. Take it. They did. And they kept it somewhere nice and safe. Will it work? Will it work? He's perfect. You're a genius, Clive. I know. Now give him what my... exactly are you going to use it for? Only oh, the most no. important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own. But with the right cog in the right place? Well, you just wait and see. All right, so we'll just let you deal with that. I don't want to know. You're going to talk and... That should do her. All right, let's... Uh, wait, is she going to... Does she make it to scale model? Here goes nothing. Awesome. So... I don't think Titan has tits. It wasn't supposed to fly, was it? Of course it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. But... Honestly, these bloody engines are driving me mad! But... I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. Keep working. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. I keep working at it. I don't want to hear your life story. But we already know maybe yours. Maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. This is true. People will lose their homes, their children, their mums, and their dads. Like I lost mine. I'm sorry. Me. If she's so not I, wrong, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head, or do I follow my heart? Do both. Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, I felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying. But, imagine how it would feel to actually do it. Uh-oh, Clive's talking around to do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream, or shuffling to your grave. And you were right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. 
Of course not. People need dreams to chase. Especially in a world like this. And the blight's coming quicker, so... Right. She's gonna keep working on it. When this is over, I'm gonna take all my mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. All that hard work. All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. Tell me, Clive. Have you ever been on a treasure hunt? Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Well, we've been on many so now. I'm gonna bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. A really hard one. So that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. See, that's cool. <laughs> I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Actually, I can't help but you can't help but like me. <laughs> right. Like you can't help but like you know, she's slightly annoying, but you can't help but like all her energy is just awesome. Man, this is taking a little longer than I thought, but you know, we are going to knock all this out. We are almost done. If I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Right. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. Well, enough with your service. Go. That's important, is it, Clive? Only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. Let's go. There we go. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I I like her story, and I I think it's cool to hear her finally get model airship. All right. We got mids done. We got Vivians and whatever the hell's over there. We're gonna get Vivians out the way. Mentioned a new project. Come on, let's get the Vivians. Cause she's gonna be all happy to see the book. Oh, we have another mission now. Well, damn. Vivian. Vivian. She looks so angry. The book you lost. You. You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these executors. Yep, and I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. That's true. And if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That right. it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. This is true. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. Really? The gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. Hmm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I too. I mean, that's kind of cool. Felt somehow set apart from the world of men, a stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift, and that though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? But you're not one of us. Honestly, well, you better be. 
I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat clouded. Perhaps the result Maybe of studying mankind a crush on me. from a rather closer perspective than I had intended. I wonder if she has a crush on me. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the I men get that. and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you. As I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. There we go. We got more. Awesome. See, I like terrors. It was short and sweet. Just got to the point. Scholar's bonnet. All right. A new quest. Oh, we got to see something quick. Nectar. How many hunts are on this stupid board? Okay, we still haven't found that one yet. Man! There's more... Oh, Behemoth King. Wailing Banshee. We just get more stuff to... All these A-rank stuff. Okay, and we got this... We got some S ones. We still got some hunts to do, but those will be on just another fun thing. As long as we get all the mission stuff done. All right, so you know what? No, we're we're done because I keep going. We're gonna stay on here for a little while longer. I am going to save here. We'll do that one mission, and then we're off to the to the other stuff. So, guys, I'd like to say thank you all for coming in, for the follows, for the shares, the likes, the comments, all that fun stuff on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to check out Dicey Fate on YouTube uh, and Facebook. Uh, don't forget to check out Crimson Moon Gaming on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, also, Dicey Fate on uh, Spotify as well. Hopefully, we'll be getting some more stuff up here soon. But... Um, I think that's it, guys. So, love y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow with more of this. Hopefully, we can actually get to the main story and y'all don't have to just watch me do all the side quest stuff. So, <laughs> uh, again, love you guys so much and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Later.